Hi, this is Tom Miro with World Class Coaching and another in our series of animated drills. This week's activity, I want to focus on circle drills. I love circle drills for working on technical activities, technical skills, dribbling, passing, combination play. It's fantastic for working on these because it's a different environment that we normally do it. I mean, obviously, you know, there's many different ways to work on technique. And the more you have, the more variety you have in your training, the more engaging it'll be for your players. Now, I know it's not game-like, it's not functional, but what it is is just a different way to challenge your player's technical ability, and you can also do fitness within this. There's Obviously, there's some decision-making involved in it, so psychological part of the game, you know, making sure we're making good choices. All of that can be put into this. So for what it is, I really like circle drills, and they definitely have their place kind of within your periodization with your teams. So the way it's set up, we've got a circle. The diameter can vary based on the age or ability level of your players. Maybe you want to make it bigger to have it more fitness-based. Maybe you want to have it tighter to be more technical and, and difficult to navigate. Then we've got a square inside the middle of the area. And what I want the players on the outside, we've got 10 players in this. We have four soccer balls. You could add a fifth soccer ball in and make it a one-to-one -one ratio. I want to have a couple more choices for the passers. I want to have a little bit more rest for the players. So we've got 10 here with four soccer balls. I want each of those four players to dribble into the middle. It doesn't matter which side they dribble into. They can dribble whichever side they want. That player could have gone in the middle if they wanted. This player can go there. You know, then what I want are players to exit from a different side. So once they get in, then I want them exiting from another side of that square. So then they, and they can come out on the same side. They could come out there if they wanted and they'll just have to you know, work to find the pass. If they come out here, it's gonna be easier to find the pass. So that part of it's up to them. So they get inside, then after they get outside the square, then they find a pass to a teammate on the outside. Obviously we got a lot of lines going here with the Academy Soccer Coach software. We've got you know tons going on here. But you get the idea. Players dribbling into the middle, then changing and then dribbling outside on another side. So there's a lot of different variations you can use with this instead of just having them dribble. But to start with, really focus on that initial dribble. You know, do you want them getting the ball out of their feet and running with it quickly? You know, that's what I want from that action. I want them focused on dribbling fast into the middle. Once they get into the middle, can they get their composure? Can they get their control? As they're getting into the middle, can they kind of have their eyes up to see where the space is going to be in order for them to find their exit from the middle? Because we don't want players crashing in the middle. We want them to have their eyes up and, and be aware of where their teammates are. And then once they found their exit, to then find that space quickly, have a good pass to feet. We want this player then coming to the ball with a good first touch, perhaps even taking that first touch long enough that allows them to run toward the square. And then they repeat those actions, get into the square, have their change of, of direction, and then get out of the square with a good pass. So that's the simplest kind of you know, basic progression of this. You can then make it more challenging by asking this player to get into the middle, perform some type of fake or move or action, and then get out to make their pass. You could ask them to stay inside the middle for a certain period of time with the ball always moving. So then you've got the four players in the middle, each dribbling their own ball, but quickly and with intention to stay away from the pressure and keep possession and not run into anybody, and then get out of the square and find their pass. So that's another progression that you can use. There's many, many more that you can use with this that involve players you know, passing back to the outside, receiving the ball again, turning and going to the outside. But this simple format then will allow you to work on a lot of different things in terms of running with the ball, dribbling, moves with the ball, changes of direction with the ball. So it's a great one. I definitely suggest trying it with your team and finding different you know, progressions that your teams really like. So put those in the comments below as well and share those with other coaches.